Hello everybody and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. My name is Twisted and today we are gonna be trying to make our super mega store. Just remember that we have this uh, area over here. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna go to a sign. I'm gonna extend this maintenance center all the way to the edge. Then we're gonna delete most of it. Hold on. Uh, oh god damn it, no. Don't no, proceed. Let's do this. Yes, make it in that corner. Please move. Thank you very much. So we can move it easily around if you want to. Actually, you know what? Let's let's move it over here. Yeah, let's do that. Doesn't have to be really big, actually. I don't know what the size requirement is. It doesn't say, so I'm guessing it doesn't have to be big at all. So let's keep it like in the corner. That'll be fine. Like three by three is definitely not because this is three by three. That's working out quite well for us. So the plan is to like have this corridor. I should actually use the corridor map. Which is gonna be my assign menu. Let's use restrooms this time, cause why not? So let's extend. It's gonna be like we're gonna have a. It's gonna be the one corridor, like over here. We're gonna have another corridor that goes like here. Then it's gonna. Oh god, I can can I draw outside? Of course, I cannot. It's gonna go like. Okay, I'm gonna show it like this. Proceed. Yeah, now it's gonna go like this, like the corridor. It's gonna like turn here, like this. This is all gonna be like a more shops and whatnot. We're gonna have probably another exit slash entrance over here. And then on this side, we're gonna have the road that goes all the way here. We're gonna have a little area where people can park, where our workers can park, and we can have deliveries. They're gonna go straight inside here. It's gonna be nice. Also, we're gonna have like a path down here. It's gonna be it's gonna be a crossing, which actually makes me want to make it a little bit bigger than usual. How do we do that efficiently? Well, we could do a little bit. Actually, no. You know what? This is not gonna be. We're gonna have another store here, right? Yeah. I have the big storage which you want to extend and make it like this. It's gonna be used for multiple shops. That's the plan at least. What is this? Queues are full! Don't be full, please. Also buy more things at once. It makes sense, guys. It really does, trust me. But right, so yeah, we uh, are gonna have... You know, we could have a toilet here, maybe? Like, that would be an okay solution, but why don't we even put the toilets like in the... In, in somewhere further away. It doesn't have to be. They don't have to be everywhere. They're like really close right now. It's fine. I want to attract more people here. That's the plan. So I want to slowly start closing down these stores. You can leave them open. It doesn't really matter. Because we are making money right now. We, can, eh, we made a little bit less today. Actually, no. We will make more. Yeah, cash is looking great, actually. It's pretty damn nice. We could also achieve these goals if we want to. We'll see though. Um, so yeah, store here. Uh, let's go just build a wall. You know what? Yeah, let's just go build the wall. Actually, I, uh, I really need the planning tool because it's so hard for me to do what I want to do. Like if we have... How big does this store have to be? Like, if we have another store here. Is that big enough for, big enough for the store? Maybe, I don't know, what we're gonna have there? Like, should it be a bit bigger? Probably should be a bit bigger, right? What are we gonna be selling here? I have no clue, but I'm gonna build the wall anyways. Uh, yes. Alright, so we also wanna have the wall go all the way here, and let's have this here. It's gonna be... Like, one of those super mega markets where you can buy, like... It's gonna be a huge food store. Oh, we just split it in two easily. Split it in two, have two stores here. Maybe, like, split it in, like, three, like, here, and then one over here. And have this be a big one. We can do anything! We can do anything we want, because we are amazing. Alrighty, so let's uh, go to build. Go to objects. Let's place a few counters. We're gonna need those anyways. Might as well invest in them. By the way, someone asked how are the workers gonna be in the counter if the upper thing is closed. They actually work on the same tile as the checkout counter, so they don't need to have an empty space above. The, pack, the customers do have to have an empty space below, but the workers are on the same tile as the um, as the checkout counter, which is great for me. Alright, so this is gonna be big, we wanna have it like real big, let's have like five, six... Actually, no, no, no you know what? When they leave, I wanted to go... Like, you know how the, in stores, like, when you buy something? In here, it's kind of confusing because you have to go all the way back, but in here, you, they we're gonna have an exit and an entrance, so this is gonna be the exit. But, honestly, I, I'd like to place the exit over here, because if they enter here, they're gonna have to go all over here, they're gonna exit right next to the exit of the mall, 
they're gonna leave but unfortunately there's no way to rotate this so the exit from this area is gonna have to be over here i mean it's not like we can actually like tell them where to go right we gotta do it like this anyways let's just have it have them like this a bunch of these it's probably overkill yeah i think it is i think this is like already overkill let's have six to begin with it's gonna be nice. We're gonna have some like extra walls here, I guess. Maybe. Hmm. Also, we do have like that. I wanna like get some some stuff with got with junk food with like candies and chips and stuff like that. Not poker chips, you dummies. These chips you eat. Crisps, if you are from the UK, you know what I mean. Uh, we want objects, yes. So, we don't need these things, we want to have the tables, right? Food shelves, right? Yeah, snacks and cookies and... And maybe, like, soda and stuff like that. Shelves, we have on shelves a lot of stuff. Holy crap, snacks. Uh, condoms, there's usually, like, condoms at the checkout. Unfortunately, there's no condoms in the game right now. This game isn't very safe. I guess. So we're gonna have like a, a bunch of these. Over here, we're gonna wait for them to build. Oh, alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to need a door here. Uh, we're gonna need an exit door here, anyways. So, might as well get one right now. I want like doors that can be used only for exits, and I want to have like those, um, those detectors that see if someone's stealing stuff. You know what I mean? Like the. You know how all the items have like a little tag in them, and then if you go through the. Detector with the tag still in is gonna beep and the guards are gonna kill you because you are stealing stuff. I'm gonna actually kill you, but you know what I mean. Also, there's no guards yet. I'm guessing this is gonna come into the game when the guards arrive. There's so much potential for this game, I love it. It has such a high uh, upper ceiling of potential, which is nice. I like that a lot. Alright, so let's have let's see what's over here. That's not blocked active zone. God damn it, you're right. So kinda change that. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, you know what? Let's go to store. Let's make this into a store for now. Uh, I'm gonna go to the manage menu <clears throat> for the store. It's like 16, right? Where's store 14? Oh, that's the shoe store, right. Um, okay, you know what? I have, a, I have a good idea. I have an idea for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 oh, where is the name again? Store 14. Let's call it Big Foot Emporium. Big Foot Emporium. Yeah, why not? I like that. I like it. Right. Well, here this is a store. Uh, it's incomplete. I know it's incomplete. Let's set the product. We don't have sliced bread anywhere, which is interesting. So they have like stuff like, okay, let's have snacks. Let's have candies, yeah. Let's have cookies, yeah. Let's have beverages, let's have like soda. And over here, that's four things, right? So I guess I wanna have one more checkout counter just to balance it out a little bit. Soda, ball. I don't want a bottle of water, that's too healthy. Like, it's, it's like when you're at the checkout counter, you see something sweet and you think to yourself, you know what? I could really afford to eat some cookies. Why not? I haven't done it in a while. Might as well. So it's snacks, candies, cookies, soda. Uh, snacks. Oh god. Oh my god. Candies. Cookies and one soda. So I want to go to the build menu. And I want to build like a food shelf and also a checkout counter. I have to learn the hotkeys like this. Alrighty. Uh, we're gonna go over here. It's not very optimal right now, but it's actually... Hold on. A managed store wants to be, like, closed. Opened from... Yeah. From midnight to midnight. I think no one's gonna bother us ever. It's incomplete. It's fine. That's what I want. I don't think it's gonna be open anyways if it's incomplete. That's alright. We need a storage first. Uh, over here we want to have soda, right? Yeah. Soda. Right, so that, that's our, gonna be our checkout area. Cashiers are coming in, which is great to see. Money is looking great. Our debt is going down. We are still actually making a profit despite everything. Which is really nice. Like, we are paying off our debt and making profit. 
and that's a good sign. All right, so we have this area, like this is the checkout area. So what want to like figure out how do we get people to buy stuff? How do we make people get what we want them to get? So what I'm going to have in here. Let's take a peek. So want to have, definitely want to have like an area with just food, all right? That sounds good. Since everything needs to be facing like north, I do really want to make, make this into like a big superstore. Let's go over, let's do this. Fridge can be used to display and sell. All right, so let's do like a, let's make this like a meat aisle, right? Make this into like a meat aisle. Uh, what do we have from meat? We have fresh meat. And, okay, you know what? Just two for fresh meat, right? For fresh meat, one for milk, two for dairy. Can I get eggs? I don't have eggs on the, on the menu, unfortunately. I have, uh, like, fresh meat, fresh meat, dairy, milk, milk. And also fresh fish. Fish is usually, like, separate, right? I'm gonna do it like this. And we're also, also going to do something sneaky, sneaky. Let's add a wall here. So if you want to buy, like, stuff here, you're gonna have to go in to the wall. Like, make it separate like this. This way it's a little bit, like, off. It's a little bit different. Wanna wanna also have a lot of room. That'd be the idea. Um, what else are we going to do? Well, I wanna have like a passage. I wanna have like a double passage everywhere. Like I wanna have a lot of room. So we're gonna do something like this. I think it's actually bad. What if we do it like this? Still not a lot of room. So we have an alert. Queues are full and get drunk fast. Seriously? Hold on. How is it possible? I guess they guess it is. Because people do wanna buy booze after all. Right, so I want to have like this be the aisle for like frozen stuff, but it's probably a bit too close to this thing right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like cut this off and make it like this, like this. That's a little bit better, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. Which is, I really wish you could rotate stuff, man. It would make so much more sense to me. Like, seriously, now. You wouldn't actually have to have... Okay, you know what? We're gonna do it like this instead. Like this, we're gonna also go to demolish walls. We'll demolish this one, because it doesn't have to go, like, all the way around. And also, we're gonna make some more objects. Build objects. Let's have some more fridges for fish. Right, yeah. Also, let's go to manage. Actually, assign. And go to store. Extend this store. To the entire store. That's gonna be a big mega store. All right, so over here we can manage products. Like we said, we're gonna have meat, meat, fresh meat, fresh meat. We're gonna have uh one for milk, as long as you don't need like two fridges of milk. Let's have like a, a dairy thing. Dairy thing. I love cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Cheese is amazing. Unless you're allergic, then you fart a lot and it stinks and everyone hates you. It's okay, though. Okay, over here we're gonna have fish. Let's have fresh fish, fresh fish. And over here we wanna have frozen stuff, so we wanna have frozen veggies and frozen pizzas. Which is actually one, two... Oh, hold on, crap. As if we go to build here, if we go to, like, fridge, we're gonna have fridge. Fridge. Okay, we are messed up a bit. Uh, we have to like have one more thing here. Cause it's not gonna work otherwise. Hmm. I could make this into like a three wide corridor. Would make more sense. Actually, yeah. Let's actually keep the ones in between three wide. Maybe like it's gonna be the edge. Maybe like over here. All right. Go to like. Tours. Again, planning tool would be amazing. It helped me out so much. All right, let's do this. This is gonna be like... Okay, fine. So these are, these courses are gonna be like three wide. 
and these in between are gonna be too wide. I'm gonna have wool separating stuff because it's gonna look a little bit nicer that way, I feel. I don't know, we don't need to, but I want to, so why not? So we said we wanna have uh, frozen pizzas and then let's run with frozen veggies. Because we need frozen veggies. Also, we need uh, like ice cream areas. Use are full. Hurry up, man. I mean, is this thing actually making a profit now? It actually is. It's actually making a profit. That's kind of incredible. Over here, also a little bit of profit. Saw this a minute ago. This making more profit now. This making a ton of money. It's amazing. It's almost single-handedly doing everything for us, which is great. Back to the main menu. To the E menu. To the E key. Also, I wish, like, when you were selling stuff, especially in the fridges, it's... Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see what you're selling. I guess. I don't know. I feel like it is. I could be totally, like, wrong, but I feel like it's a bit difficult to see what you're selling. Alrighty, also this is gonna be our storage area, probably. Tools are full. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. They're not that full. Stop whining. Buy more than one thing at once. Come on, guys. Be, be real now. Alright, so we have those things. Again, I wish we could have, like, a list of all the items that are available to you. Maybe there is, but I just didn't realize it exists. Uh, we were doing the buildy stuff with fridges, yes? Yeah, so we're missing... From food, from food that needs to stay cold, we're missing ice cream. Uh, we have fish, we have frozen stuff. I guess we could have ice cream next to the frozen veggies. It kinda makes sense, in a way. Do we wanna do that, though? I mean, why not, right? Yeah! Wow! I could have, like, two things of this. And have, like, a wall, and it would... be okay? Or we could have, like, two more things here. Yeah, make them a bit separate. Okay, I like that. I like that a bit, quite a bit. So we don't want to have another, want to have another like three wide area here. I'm gonna open this up like this, so we know that we're gonna have like something in this area, and we're gonna have a door here. So let's go to build, get, get the door, door object, double door. Can go over here. That's gonna be the main one of the main entrances. Or one can be like over here in this area. I don't really care. People are gonna enter over here anyways. I know it's already because this is a game, and games work like that. Right, so we said this is ice cream, right? Right, yeah. Manage, make it ice creamy. Make it ice creamy. Very, very ice creamy noise. All right, also have the door. Also, gonna get some more walls. That's nice. So, this is gonna be our frozen area. This is all fridges. You know how, like, in stores they have that, those cold areas with just fridges? This is it in our case. Right? Good. I'm glad you understand me. I'm glad we came to a conclusion. Let's have it like this. That is just fine. We have another big, like, major lane in the middle, but I like actually going with this layout. So, like, have two things, then have two blocks, two things, two blocks, two things, two blocks, things, two blocks. It's gonna blow it all off unless we make it a little bit different. I'd rather than actually just do this for now. Just do this so we know where the where the edges are, for now, we can also adjust this later on if necessary. Um, because walls are not that, that expensive to like place and remove or not. Interestingly enough, one wall is 100, two walls is... Hmm, this is like 100, this is 300, why? So the... If you're going down, it costs 200 for the second wall. Like this is 200, 200, 300. Why? This is 600. This is 800. How does that even work? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue whatsoever. Which is, I guess, fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually, uh... In this video here, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Another Brick in the Mall, 
it's free to leave a like, leave a comment, it helps out the good deal more than you can, even better, yeah? Once again, thank you guys very much for watching, my name has been Twisted from Hellbender Games, and I will see you next time.